Good evening to everybody. Um, yeah, it's been a tough season. Um, we had set a lot of goals that we wanted to achieve. And, you know, I think uh, coming to the end of the season, the last game, I think we achieved quite a bit of what we had hoped to achieve. Um, and I think we can be proud of ourselves. We obviously would have wanted the three points today to break the record, but um, it's something we can build on and hopefully we'll achieve it next season. Uh, Grant, can send him a Sunday on a friend vlog. Uh, Grant, it's your second season, uh, second title. The story has always been uh, players that go to sundowns but looked at like they're making a career suicide. Um, when I look at you, a couple of games uh, during the season, you wore the umbelt. I see Ronan was the umbelt, Debuha was the umbelt, Sipumbul is playing the Champions League games. Um, what do you say to that? Uh, is it a new story that this new generation is, 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 is writing or is the culture it's sometimes that you find uh, different or what brings up that hunger in you guys to to make it here at Sundowns? Um, I think it's the hunger to, to want more. Um, the coach always emphasizes that, you know, we can always improve, we can always get better and, you know, we must never be content with the level that we're at, you know. Um, so he always pushes us um, to do well to push to the level beyond the next um, and that's the mentality that we all have and I think you know coming to sundowns as a player you know you have to be motivated because there's a lot of competition um, it's healthy competition everyone gets a run and you know when you get given the chance you have to take it and fortunately you know we've been doing that um, the past two seasons and you know I'm just proud to be a part of this wonderful team um, I keep learning keep improving every day and yeah, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. Uh, good, good evening, sorry. Uh, congratulations on winning your second title. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, your coach said you're one of the best box defenders. Uh, how would you respond to that? And what is it that you personally, you've, you've improved on ever since arriving at this club? Yeah, you know, um, obviously flattered by that statement, but um, you know, it's to always improve. I think that's always just been my motto, to always improve. Um, you know, sundowns, we don't do a lot of defending because we always have the ball, we're always penetrating. So the moments that we do get to defend, you know, we have to really come and show what we're actually good at because um, as a defender, my primary job is to defend, um, you know. So I think I learn a lot from all the players that I play around. You know, there's a lot of quality there. And, you know, we take small things from each other. Um, to help improve the collective and you know I can only say it's a collective effort that um, I'm improving my game because I'm playing with um, such wonderful players. Grant, uh, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the season that you guys had, I mean there were coaching changes in terms of the structure, something internally, but how did you guys get uh, to stay focused and stay on course with all what was happening around uh, the coaching changes? Did it somewhat affect you? Uh, mentally as as players? Uh, not necessarily. I think there's a lot of experienced players um, within the team. Um, players have been there, done there, done it all. Um, so, and our job at Sundowns as players is to actually play. You know, what happens outside, um, we don't have control of. The only thing we had control of is us being on the pitch and that's what we were focused on. Uh, can I just to pick up on the uh, first person You were in and out of, say, Super Sport, more than that, attacks, uh, just can't get the sequence right. Um, to a player that can have you questioning uh, how good you are or your abilities, number one, when, when you get to, to, to Sundowns, do you ever think back to those years and say, maybe if this move had happened a bit earlier, uh, so much could have come out because you've spoken about this, you know, the best sports defender, you spoke in, in terms of defender of the season and things like that. And then secondly, what would you say playing for Sundowns has improved in terms of your game? Yeah, I don't know if I must answer this first or second. But um I, guess I, did the first and then the second. I don't know what was the first. The first was you know, after those loan moves, oh. super, uh, super sport tags. Did you ever have a oh. point where when you <coughs> what you're doing now, question yourself and say, you know, to be honest, no. Um, I think everything happens at its own time. Um, and I think the time that I came to Sundowns was the right time for me because I felt even as a player mentally, you know, I was um, a lot more equipped to be able to 
sort of withstand what uh, the expectations at sundowns um so i think what if i came here earlier and then you know um i couldn't maintain the standards of sundown so i think i came here um well equipped and you know everything happened at the right time and i'm fortunate to be part of sundowns um and i'm always willing to achieve more um and then the second question Yeah, yeah. I think it's improved a lot because at Sundowns, um, everything is so specific. Like you know, the coach goes into detail about everything, um, so it helps you improve elements of your game that you didn't even know that were there. You know, so I think that played a lot in sort of the way I also play because it's brought a lot of belief within the talent that I I possess and. You know, uh, coach always motivates us to express ourselves when you get on the field, and that's something maybe that I also missed because I was sort of in my shell um, with all the other teams that I played for. And you know, when I'm here, I feel like I express myself a lot more, and I'm, you know, the player that um, I've always wanted to to become. Last two questions. Mm-hmm. Um, current player from the <coughs> Um, the club has been getting some great reviews on the continent, especially um, even after last weekend, um, how, how things turned out there. Uh, how important is to is, 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 is to make it happen, um, this second star, and go beyond just um, Sundown being, getting those great reviews? I mean, because also if you look at your... Um, group performance, group stage performance last season, Sundowns was second best uh, to no one um, in this division. So now that this one has been, you've been crowned here, how important um, is to get into that space? And, and also maybe the second question is to the importance of entrenching yourself uh, in the Bafana Bafana setup, especially looking forward to the big one in, in Cote d'Ivoire in general. Yeah, um, I think to answer the first question, um, we keep our feet firmly planted on the ground. Um, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We know that you know even in the semi-finals, this is just half time for us. Um, there's going to be a big one on Saturday, you know, and we're happy that we we got through with the league and all the other competitions. So there won't be any distractions for us, and um, we'll be motivated, obviously, to improve on um, last season's um, exit and also, you know. We were obviously at Brian Alex's funeral today, you know, and a lot of emphasis was put on what he meant to this club um, and how he grew with it, you know. So we'll also be playing in his memory, and it's going to be important for us to leave everything on the field um, on Saturday so that we give ourselves a chance to advance to the finals. Take it to Akidan. <coughs> yeah, no. Also, to answer your Bafana question, um, I think it's just going to take, from my side, um, a lot of consistency um, to play a lot more. You know, I've been having a lot of niggles, you know, that have been interrupting my season. Um, so I think I'll go back even in the off season, you know, to work on my strength so that, you know, I try as much to avoid such niggles so that it doesn't um, delay me from. Um, being called up to to Bafana. Uh, Grant, congratulations on winning the league today. Kamukhala uh, from Soccer Laduma today. I wanted to find out ahead of Saturday's game, um, what does it mean to you to potentially be um, like on the precipice of not achieving history in the sense of make, leading this Sundowns team to another Champions League final um, against with that against the reigning champions? You know. Yeah, um, the one thing at the beginning of the season the coach told us was that um, this group of players needs to write its own history. Um, And I think we've given ourselves a chance to do that. Um, So at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to us and how much we actually going to want that second star. But it's something that's obviously big in our minds, big. um, But then, uh, like, we just... This is everything that we want this is the big fish so we're all motivated um we obviously do understand that Widad is also the big team you know i think they're the current champions if i'm not mistaken so it's going to be a tough task but i think we've been challenged a lot um i mean just landing in morocco you know at the airport there was a lot of 
drama that was happening there but you know these are the challenges that we have to go through for us to actually reach the the end goal so um yeah nobody is going to distract us um we know our mission and we know what we need to do to get it thank you bro.